and our stone wall on this side is complete. There is nine raiders. Sound the horn. Hey, how's it going, Spy here, and welcome back to another Dawn of Man episode. You may have already noticed that the colony looks a little different, and that's because I had to restart the game and make my way back up to the point we left off in last episode. And I did it, except we have less people and less resources, but we are ready to unlock the Bronze Age. Bang! But my main goal is to get masonry unlocked as well as sword making and maybe composite archery because our colony seems to be getting attacked more and more often. And I don't know when we're going to be attacked by a huge amount of enemies, but I have a feeling that's going to be soon, so we need to fortify up our walls. So, since we unlocked bronze making, let's go over here and see what we could do with that. Oh, so we can make bronze tools and weapons, but how do we smelt bronze ingots? Oh man, look at that. Two copper, one tin, and two charcoal. So we need to make a tin mine somewhere. And this is tin right here, actually. Tin mine there, we'll high priority that, and we are going to get some tin stuff being made. Now I'm gonna auto craft this stuff for now. I literally just got into the copper age right before recording this, so we don't really have a lot of copper tools at the moment. I think if we rush through it, it should give us a better chance at surviving against raiders. All right guys, so get us some points in the knowledge tree so that we can level up 25 for the iron age. I can't wait for that. If you guys are still enjoying this game, make sure to smash that like button if you wanna see more. A bunch of hours spent to make my way back up to this point in the game. There's our guy making the tin mine and it is done. So we have a ton of animals up here. We got a lot of cattle, a lot of pigs, and a lot of sheep, and we are almost at capacity. So I'm going to have to build another animal house known as a stable. We kind of got like a little area here made for our animals, although, Raiders, if they find them, they will attack them, but they usually come from this side anyways, so it is alright. Speaking of raiders on this side, let's throw down some more towers. Since they usually attack this side, they usually destroy this tower, so let's give this tower a little bit of extra support by putting one there. And also, I want to put down some towers at the gates, so that we have a little bit more defense going on there. I actually like this new layout of our colony better. All our huts are right in the middle, and then we got crafting and stuff here. There's some crafting on this side it's pretty spread out and balanced all the way through and then over here this is our metal area we only got a couple huts so that if people are tired they can go nap in there or if they want to cook something they can cook something in there and uh, of course we got baby pigs if you want to pet them watch out they nip and in terms of transportation we got three or four donkey carts and I am going to build some extra carts we're going to put uh, let's put four there maybe five so our people get building those pretty quick because they are super helpful. It saves us a lot of time running around and stuff. Oh, we're already smelting bronze. Let's cancel all these and prioritize on bronze because we don't need to waste our copper on copper stuff if we could just make bronze stuff. And the bronze stuff is better Oh yeah, and in terms of our stone circle, we have made less progress in it, but our people are going around and mining some megalith stones, and they'll be bringing it over here soon. Hopefully by the end of this series, or this episode, we will have this stone circle finished. And our stable is complete. We have four stables here, and a ton of animals. I think I have way too many sheep. Uh, we, we can trade some of our clothes if we get too much wool. <laughs> Oh, hold up. Look how many animals just went extinct. Four animals? I think that's because we just came to the Bronze Age. New animals will be coming in. We have made one bronze spear. We're making some progress, but not a lot yet. It'll take some time before we get a lot of bronze stuff going. Oh, wolf attack? Uh, buddy, why are you all the way over there? You're, you're gonna get mauled by that wolf. Dude, just, just run. Oh, never mind. He, he got them. Don't know why you're hunting all the way over here, but you know what? These guys just got me some knowledge. Should we get sword making first or masonry? Probably sword making since that will help us defend against raiders more than the walls itself. Boom. And let's craft some swords as well. Oh, jeez. Holy man, that is eight raiders. All right, sound the horns. Formations, people, we got raiders. They always attack this side. It's kind of an advantage for me because all we have to do is defend this corner. All right, is people actually in the watchtowers? Uh, yep. But wait, where's all my people? Guys, get to this corner quick. Attack these raiders. Attack the, attack the raiders. Oh no. 
Get the raiders, people. Um. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, did we do it? I think we did it. Humans have been killed times two. And dogs as well. Oh, rest in peace, little puppers. Stop the horns. That was a little messy. But they only destroyed one tower and part of our wall. So it's all right. We only need to rebuild that. And let's throw up another tower. It's all good. People contracted a disease and just died. Oh, jeez. All right. We got five points though. Getting close to, is that a trader? We're getting close to the next tech. Hello, trader. What you got? Please be something good. Uh, cattle don't need. I was hoping it would have been some tech, but I'll take your tin ore and your copper ore. So all I can really trade in here is my bows and my clothing because the rest aren't really worth anything anymore. And it's an equal trade. Thank you for all that stuff. Oh, and we have two swords. So our people should be able to equip those and defend against raiders more easily. Okay, so this little rock pile here is almost full of resources. That's good because that means we have a lot of potential bronze being made. Let's make another storage area right next to it. Um... I guess over here is good. Then we have this whole line of stuff. Perfect. There's a lot of people just standing around and that's because we don't have the tools for them to work with. But sooner or later we'll have too many. And there's our last donkey cart. Currently we have nine carts and this is the last form of transportation in the game. I don't know if they're going to be adding like, I don't know, canoes or something in the future, but that would be pretty cool to see, especially since we got a big river here. 10 knowledge points. So let's get masonry so we can upgrade our walls. So I think I'm going to upgrade these walls first since the raiders do happen to attack this first. And then once we're done this little colony, we'll go over here and upgrade these walls. So those walls are being upgraded. What do we need for upgrading? We need stone. Uh, okay, there's a lot of stone there. So let's make a place of work. Obtain stone. Two people to that with 20 stone in our resource pile. Oh, there they go. Oh, oh, they're recycling the walls completely. And then they're going to build the walls on top. Oh, that might be bad. The raiders might attack when they're building these walls. So we got to build little batches at a time. Oh, there's already a wall right here. It looks beautiful. How much health does I have? 600 compared to our 400. It's not too much. We just got to get these walls done fast before raiders attack. I don't think they'll attack for a little bit unless they're already on their way, but I don't see them. So we should be in the clear for a bit. Oh, geez. We're almost at capacity for our population. I should probably build some more huts. I'm going to throw some more down over here because we don't really have a lot over here. And it would be nice to kind of separate our people a little bit. And check out our walls. They're getting there. And a trader has arrived. What do you got? Composite archery. Sweet. All right, I'll take that. So we're going to trade a lot of the tools here that we don't need, like this flint stuff. Sadly, it only sells for one each. We're past the prehistoric age. Well, I guess this is probably still kind of prehistoric, but you know what? It's all right. Okay. Uh trade some of these clothes for it. it's 450 okay i got a lot of wool so i'll trade a lot of wool that's a little better and we have composite archery let's head over here and let's start making the composite bows hunting and range combat weapon and our stone wall on this side is complete well pretty much complete so i think i'm going to upgrade these ones here now and then probably this stuff here and then the rest of the walls around it. It looks amazing. What do you guys think about this? We're finally becoming civilized with 65 people in our little hamlet. Wait, hold on. We can get roundhouses now. I didn't even realize. What do those look like? It might save us some space. So let's upgrade this little house to a roundhouse. There they go. They're recycling it. It might cost a little bit to make that roundhouse. So we should probably set up another place of work to collect stone. So it's not too much more expensive. It just costs a little bit more stone. And there's the roundhouse being made. Oh, it already looks amazing. Way better than these little huts. I wonder how many people it can hold. And it is done. It can hold five people. All right, that's pretty good. It has a lot of storage too, though. Look at that. Some more stone walls done. I'm going to finish up this side here too. Look at the herd going into the stables because it's winter. There's so many animals, it's crazy. <laughs> kind of looks funny. And a trader has arrived, please. Oh, horse domestication, 450. You know what? 
Boom, we now have horse domestication. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to remove this hut here and we're going to replace it with a watchtower. I have a feeling raiders are coming soon, guys. Right there. And let's upgrade this to a roundhouse. We have no straw for animals. What? Why don't we have straw for our animals? Where'd all our straw go? Oh, uh, I think some of our animals may starve. That is really bad. Animals, stay alive until spring. There we go. Let's make some more fields for our animals. There's a nice big spot here. We'll put a rye field there. I don't know if animals eat rye, but we will make some einkorn, which is similar to wheat. It's the ancient wheat. Einkorn right there. Let's get another haystack and it should be good. Oh, we got 10 knowledge points. All right, so I am going to unlock brewing and we are done bronze age. Now we just got to save up for iron age. I kind of want to see what a raider attack looks like. Are our raiders coming soon? They might be. I'll wait for them and we'll see how our people fare against raiders now that we got weapons and these stone walls. Brewing unlocked. So what do we do with brewing? Okay, brewery. Place to brew beer. I think I'm going to put it in this area here because we got a lot of space over here. A warehouse. Do you see this warehouse? It's amazing. Okay, let's recycle that. And we're going to put a warehouse right there. There's so much in this game that I'm overwhelmed a little bit, but that's all right. Storage and warehouse. I probably could have just upgraded from there, but it's pretty much the same amount of resources. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was busy. Where are we getting attacked? Okay, good. Well, not good. But there is nine raiders. Sound the horn. Guys, get into position. We got raiders coming. I don't really have walls on this side, but it's all right. Go up over here. This might be bad. Uh, attack that guy. Uh, attack that guy. There we go. Attack that guy. Are we doing okay? I, I can't really tell. We might have some casualties. Yeah, we had some casualties. It worked out really good. Only four people got murdered by the raiders. But my tower kind of blew up. A lot of these raiders, there was nine of them and we lost four? Pretty decent. And there we go. It is now fall and we can harvest all our wheats and grains so that we can continue building. And so we have some food for our animals here. <laughs> they were kind of starving last winter, but uh, they should be good now because we have a lot of crops everywhere. All right, one of our roundhouses is done and we can hold 74 people in our colony and this warehouse is nearly done as well. Hopefully I have some food left over for the animals. We might, uh, <laughs> not too sure. But the warehouse is almost done. I guess that that's a good thing, right? And there it is. Holy, look how much storage it has compared to this. Wow. Our brewery is constructed too. So to make beer, uh, we need some type of wheat and water. That's easy. Uh, we have no straw to feed our animals. Oh, okay. Yeah, we do. They're putting some in there. We had some left over. But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this episode off here. We did quite a bit. Our stone walls around our main area here is almost done. And soon we will be in the Iron Age and hopefully steel making age as well as our last monument is nearly done. We just need two more megaliths and we have a stone circle. So thank you all for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.